Which people? Maybe friends, family. How are they your friends? Huh? How are they your friends? Maybe my classmates. So just because somebody is a classmate, he qualifies as a friend. Maybe any person. Any person is your friend. Not a friend, but just to have a conflict. I don't feel my relationship is good with anyone. No. First of all, I want to understand why do you want to have relationships with people? Who do you call as friend? Who do you call as someone worth having a relationship with? I've never thought about it. Think about it. One more thing is uh, uh, using a person as a mirror to know yourself in a relationship. In general, anybody you relate to, the relationship is a mirror. Whatsoever is happening in any relationship will tell you a lot about yourself. That's what a mirror does, right? Tells you about yourself. Whatever you do in any relationship holds a mirror to you. It tells you of how your inner self is, how your tendencies are, how your ego is operating. It does not really refer to any specific person functioning as a mirror. Relationship itself is a mirror. Doesn't matter with whom. Relationship with the cow, your relationship with the waiter in the hotel, your relationship with the chauffeur, your relationship with your father, mother, batchmate, classmate, with the unknown person, your relationship with the environment, your relationship with your clothes. If you can see why you are getting related to the other and in what way, to what end, that will tell you about your inner mechanism. Why do you choose a particular brand of t-shirts? Why do you keep your hair the way you do? All these things are matter of relationships, right? You have a relationship with your body. You have a relationship with your hair. You have a relationship with that pair of jeans. Why exactly are you choosing something and why not? Why do you use certain words more often than others? Why do you prefer certain kind of food? All that is in the purview of relationships. There is no self-observation possible without looking into relationships. In fact, the whole thing of self-observation is the thing of relationships. How else will you observe the self? How will you ob else will you observe yourself? You do not exist independent of others. So whenever you will have to observe yourself, you will have to look at your connection with others. Think about these things.